hand, we were supposed to sign a contract. Hey guys, today we are going to go over what the registry is and how best to study for it. I am now living in a tiny apartment as we just sold our house and moved within three weeks. So everything has been pretty crazy for the month of February, but hopefully things will calm down here. So the ARRT registry is an exam that all radiographers have to take in order to become a registered radiographer or x-ray tech. And the exam itself is 230 questions. 200 of those are questions that you're scored for and then 30 are pilot questions. You have to submit an application to take the registry. When you submit the application, it costs $225. Now, you have three attempts to pass the exam and you have three years to do that. I wouldn't recommend taking all three years to take the exam. If you don't pass with those three exams in the three years, then you have to go through um, all of the schooling again. So you kind of want to pass the first time. There's a statistic listed on the ARRT website that 88.2% of people pass the registry on their first time. So more than likely, you're going to pass. Your instructors have given you all the information that you need to pass. Um, it's really up to you to retain that information and do your part, but they, they try to prepare you for success because if you don't do well, then their numbers for the school don't do well. It's not a good look on anybody if you fail. There are four different sections that are tested on for the ART registry. The first one is patient care. There are 33 questions in that category. Second is safety. There are 50 questions, so one fourth of the exam. Image production is 51 questions and procedures are 66 questions which is good because you're probably the most familiar with the procedures as far as positioning and um, exams because you spent so much time on that, you're in clinicals. The procedures are probably one of the easier sections on the exam. Now with that being said, when you're in clinicals, make sure you're performing the exams by the book. You might need to review the procedures if you kept your notes through school, which I hope that you did, I would look back to see what you scored highest on and what you scored lowest on, and then review more of what you scored lower on. So if you were really poor in your image production, if the physics really threw you off, if technique is not your strong suit, um, if word problems are going to be the death of you, then <laughs> Definitely spend most of your time focusing on that. Okay, sorry about that. My daughter woke up and I got her back to sleep, but we'll see how quickly we can run through this. There are two books that you can use to study for your registry. The book that I used is Mosby's Comprehensive Review of Radiography. With the book, it comes with an access code. So if you work best with an online module, then you can go online and take quizzes through that. But I think that that prepared me very well for the registry. The other book that was recommended to our class is the McGraw-Hill Review, and that is a yellow cover book, um, whereas most bees I call the blue book. And I would say that the yellow book is a lot more challenging, so I think that it's good for um, testing your knowledge and seeing what you can work on. So I can't say what is on the registry, but I can say how I felt about it. I feel like the Mosby's did really well for preparing me for the registry, whereas the McGraw-Hill book, I felt like that was a lot more challenging than the registry. So you can take that for what it is. You have three hours and 50 minutes to complete your exam. And I felt like that was plenty of time for me to go through everything. You will be given a calculator and a like wet erase board and marker to make any notes. 
So if you have any anything that you want to remember, look over it so that as soon as you get that board in front of you, you can brain dump anything you want onto the board so that you don't forget throughout the duration of your test. So I think that's the biggest tip that I have for the actual test. The good thing about the registry is that you take it online. Um, so you go into a testing center and it's on a computer. And once you click submit, then it'll give you your preliminary test score. If you're concerned about the material that is on the exam, then you can go onto the ARRT website, which is ARRT.org. And it breaks down all of the um, different sections and the potential material that could be tested on, which is a lot. So as a first year, I really wouldn't recommend looking at it at all because you learn so much through your program that looking at it as a first year is going to just overwhelm you and just focus on what your instructor is teaching you during that time. As a second year approaching your graduation date, um, then definitely look through that and see what you might have forgotten about, what you've never seen before, or what you don't think that you've ever seen before. Um, you should definitely go back and look at that. All right, guys, take a deep breath. You've got this. You've studied for two years now, and all the information is up there in your head somewhere. So review it as much as you can as you prepare for your test. So everybody's nervous, um, everybody's stressed out, but let me know if you have any other questions. I think that my next video is going to be over surgeries and just tips about the operating room and how to control your C-arm. Over the past six months, I've gotten a lot more experience and I just wanted to share some tips because I've gotten some compliments from surgeons. So whatever I'm doing is working and I want it to work for you too. All right, good luck on your registry and I hope that you guys have a good day. See ya.